Should yoga be regulated? Should we regulate the yoga market? It's been the hot topic of the year and my answer, which is quite controversial, is yes, yes, and yes. And let me explain. To say that you're a yoga teacher today is kind of like saying that you're a healer. It might mean that you're a medical doctor. It might mean that you've read a couple books on palm reading or anything in between. It's a very ambiguous term that doesn't mean the same thing to different people across the world. And so if we look at the fitness industry, everyone gets more respect than we do. Pilates instructors, group fitness instructors, personal trainers, they all have a much more consistent reputation in the industry. As a yoga teacher, as yoga teachers, that makes it very, very challenging to be a service provider. Regulation would raise the standards. It would give us more respect from health community, from public schools, from hospitals, and would open up lots of different places for us to be employed that are just not available right now. Keep in mind, regulation has come to other similar industries, and it's always been a positive thing. Now, yoga teachers protest saying that this regulation would infringe upon their freedom. But what I really see is people trying to protect their market share because regulation would shine a light on the fact that a lot of senior yoga teachers and yoga schools lack basic knowledge about anatomy, physiology, diet, nutrition, biomechanics, and certainly the service industry in general, they don't have any knowledge of. And so what this means is these businesses would topple and even worse, a lot of these senior teachers and a lot of these schools would have to go back to school themselves. And that's a scary proposition. And the other group of people who are really protesting against this are the religious yoga groups. There are yoga groups who are Sikhs, there are Muslims, there are Hindus, there are Buddhist yoga groups, and these are religious yoga groups. No one is suggesting that we regulate religion. Religious freedoms are protected under the Constitution in almost all free countries. That's not what this is about. It never was about this. If you're a religious yogi, if you're a religious yoga group, no one is suggesting that we regulate you. What we're talking about is me and the hundreds of thousands of other fitness-oriented yoga teachers, which represents about 95% of the market. They were talking about a Tuesday night, 7 p.m. power yoga class, Thursday evening, 6 p.m. hot yoga class. We're talking about gravity yoga. We're talking about fitness-oriented classes. That's what needs regulation. I am not a fan of government. I'm not a fan of regulation and rules, but I also see our industry and it's a big, big mess. It's a big free-for-all and it's not getting better until someone steps in and makes the changes. Now, how exactly those regulations are gonna happen, whether it's regional, statewide, national, even international, I have no idea. And that's something that someone smarter than me needs to roll out. But I can understand with an insider view, it's very clear to me that some change does need to happen. My name is Lucas with Yoga Body. I know this is a controversial topic. I'd love to hear your questions, your comments, and your thoughts, as long as you're respectful, down below.